Now, he swapped his uh, white van for a blank canvas. The former delivery driver from Hull is now in demand for doing his own unique works of art. Peter Bell paints Victorian-style portraits of local sporting people in caricature style. Being made redundant is often one of the worst things that can happen to someone. But for Peter Bell, it helped him leave van driving behind and turn his love of painting into a career. I think it just um, seemed a bit unobtainable it's I'm, I'm not from that sort of background um, but it's well I like to think that the the quality of the work has sort of come through and that yeah I, I stand as much chance as anybody else I mean the first thing I do is when a picture goes in the window is bring the kids down and I sort of literally force them to go on go have a look have a look you always get a buzz out of seeing your work displayed although he'd painted all his life Peter was very reluctant to show anyone his work but they've proved a huge hit. Picture of everything else, it just makes you feel happy. And if you have a bit of a bad day, I suppose, you walk into your house and that's the award, just cheers you up. Peter's pictures might focus on Hull's past, but he hopes they'll form a permanent part of both his and the city's future. And Peter is with us now. Good evening to you. Van Good driver evening. to artist, how did that happen? Just being an artist is something that I've always um, wanted to do, never really had the confidence and just um, got spurred on to just really put a toe in the water and see how it went. Is it hard just to get it established? Because I would have thought it was quite a closed shop, isn't it? Um, yeah, but it's. I think my naivety with it is, is it may have worked to my advantage in that I just sort of persisted, kept trying, yeah. tried galleries. They're larger than life characters, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. What, what inspires you about Hull people then to uh, to do them? I think it's just the uh, the the realness of it and the fact that it's what I see. I, I feel that I would feel uncomfortable sat drawing trees in fields. Um, I live in a city. I, I see this every day. Um, so you sit and sketch Hull people, and paint them. Not so much sketch, but I'm certainly always on the lookout for ideas. Yeah. There's there's many things that I'll see just um, walking around Hull. Uh, that will spur me on. We kept you waiting for 10 minutes. You've done something there. Can I have a look at it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, if you must. Now, you've done this in 10 minutes, didn't you? Let's have a look at this. Mm -hmm. uh, just have a look at this. Uh, here we go. Mandy's going to give us a shot of this. There we are. Uh, the director says I look like Ronald Reagan. Are my ears really that big? No, I think I've... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I've gone too far on the ears. Too far on the ears. If I'd had my glasses on, I'd have probably got it spot on. You're an artist who doesn't wear his glasses. I never brought them with me. You should have done. It's yeah. very good. I'm going to keep that. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Self-conscious.